Hello YouTube and I'm Wayne with Wayne's Tech and Gaming, back once again. And why am I in the bathroom holding a keyboard? Well, this 20, was it 20 some dollar or 30 some? 30 some. 30 some dollar keyboard from uh, Havoc, from the Magic Eagle gaming line, says that it's waterproof. Well, we're going to test that today. With Tickler, it doesn't say about submerging it in water. No, it says nothing about submerging. But... You want to show them the bottom. Tell them about the... Oh, yes. On the bottom here, you will see uh, little holes. This is supposed to allow whatever moisture gets in the drain. Basically, whenever they say waterproof, they mean from like little spills here and there that you'll get on your keyboard. But what I'm wondering is, if it is really waterproof, what will it take to really break it? And... We do got it hooked up to the computer to let you all know that's working. Yep, working just fine. So, let's get right into business. Alright everyone, so we're going to start with our first test. As you see, I've got a tub full of water. Now, this thing's ready for basically spills. Hey, well, let's just start by spilling something on this, shall we? Oh, I'm cringing. I am cringing from that. That hurts a little. I know, right? Ah. Uh, but you know something? That's just water. But what about a soda? What about a soda? Ah, oh, how about it, folks? How about that there soda? Is it barely coming off the bottom? Ah, oh, uh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Uh, and again, we have not switched this keyboard out. This was a functioning keyboard. And I say was because I have not tested it yet <laughs> for functionality since I started this test. Now, we're going to do a little something else. How, how about we clean it some? Yes. How about we clean this? Oh, look. Forgot. Ooh, hello. Oh, this is messy. Here we go. Ah! Oh, look at all that. Mmm. All that soap. Make sure you clean it real good, Wayne. Oh, I'll make sure I clean her good. I'll make sure she gets clean. Oh, look at all that. Ah, look at all those bubbles coming off of it. Wow. Ah, this is how you're supposed to clean your keyboard, folks. Not really. Please, never actually take a working product and do this. Never. It will definitely void your warranty on your product if you actually go and do this. Ah, look at all that. I think all the soaps are in about that level. What do you think? Let's see how that smell. It smells like bubble bath. Very nice. But you know what? I'm not quite happy with it. And it floats. So, if you're in a life and danger situation and you have a bunch of these, you might be able to make a raft. It'll last you all of a few minutes until it fully. Well. There it goes. It's underwater. It actually flows. Ah. Well, I think it's clean. You think it's clean? Yeah. It's 
still bubbly. Yeah, you want to see if it works? Oh my god! Holy crap! It is still working, folks. It is still working. My laptop went off. Uh oh. Did it, did it turn off? It went to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna tap the high. Say hi to the Grand Canyon. But amazingly, after pouring soda over this thing. Should we tap on it? Tap on it? Yeah, I mean, like, see if it still works. Sure. Uh, plug it back in. Oh boy. And let's. <laughs> this this one goes. Your computer goes crazy right now. Let's it see. did before you emerge it. Uh, <laughs> the computer's like, no, what you doing? Computers, all sorts of confused. Yeah? Wow! I think it just turned off. You yeah. gotta think, I've used it all morning. Yeah. There it goes. This is causing your computer to derp out. Something has seriously went wrong in the keyboard. <laughs> It lights up. I don't think it works anymore, people. Well, should we try it with your computer? <clears throat> That's gonna be hard to do. I'll have to wait for it to dry off before I do that. There it goes. L yeah, log in to your computer. Can you all believe that? I mean, seriously. We took this thing. Doused it in water, soda, shampoo. Yeah, I've got plenty of battery. Oh, jeez. All right. Now, take that USB and plug her in after you open up a browser or something. Let's see if it truly still works. What well, is this? It's plugged in. Yep. All right. Point at the screen let's see oh my god um, it's still freaking work i'm not typing ones you're not no i'm not typing ones it says you are i'm not oh hell folks it's only registering ones it is only registering once. Well, try to try it first. Well, and my computer just went off. Yeah, it did. <clears throat> try trying it, and we could try it on my computer. Well, first, before I dry it, let's show it your computer. Okay. Let's move your computer. <laughs> and I just try to flush the keyboard down the toilet. And I'll be back as soon as this dries out a little bit. Hello everyone and welcome back. So did the Havoc Magic Eagle keyboard actually survive the test? Well, it looks like it did, but nothing, nothing, it is dead. I have officially killed the Havoc, Ma the Havoc Magic Eagle keyboard. Ah, truly waterproof? No. Spillproof? Somewhat. 
Of course, that was a massive spill. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't put your keyboard in the bathtub. And never torture test your stuff. Why, why was I willing to do this? Well, one, we have a spare one like this. And two, I just really wanted to do something fun with y'all for once, so... I am Wayne with Wayne Second Gaming, and I will see you again on another video. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, and... Do whatever. I don't care. Punch your brother in the face. Do it now!